Hey guys, it is Steady Chaos. Hopefully everybody is fine and dandy out there and is having a safe and happy July 4th weekend and a nice break from work. I know I am. But in tonight's video, I want to talk about the greatest improvement in my estimation for the C2 over the C1. Now what you're seeing is the 48 inch LG C1 on your left and the 42 inch LG C2 on your right. Now, a lot of people will say to me in the comment boards, you know, the C10 over the C9 was an iterative improvement. The C1 over the C10 was an iterative improvement. They are minor, sort of non-substantial improvements. They're very small, iterative improvements, uh, improvements that the layman person would not notice. And I generally agree with those assessments. However, I think this year for the C2, there is one great improvement, and I think it is a great and dramatic improvement over the C1. And that is shadow detail performance or near black performance. It is much improved on the C2 over the C1. So just to show you that everything is above board and fair with these comparisons, I'd like to prove to everyone that the comparisons I bring to you are 100% objective. I would never doctor any footage. I would never change the settings on one set to make one look better than the other. That's not why I have this channel. I have this channel because I'm an enthusiast. I love electronics. I love TVs. I love talking about this stuff with you guys, the community, learning from you. You guys learn from me, vice versa. It's a ideally a symbiotic relationship. And of course, a disclaimer, I don't profess to be a professional calibrator. I don't profess to have a PhD in electrical engineering. There are plenty of people out there who have a far greater technical understanding than myself. But I am an enthusiast. I've owned several TVs in my day. I've researched them ad nauseum. So I think I do have, you know, some wisdom to impart to the layman user. Uh, do I get everything right? Absolutely not. And I would never profess to get everything right. Nobody gets everything right. Even Vincent Teo makes mistakes on HDTV test, okay? Nobody's perfect, all right? Um, so with that stated, we have a 4K HDR demo here and it's a Sony OLED demo and what it really does is it tests a TV's near black performance or its shadow detail performance. Now just to show you again that this is a fair comparison, we hit the gear button, both are in filmmaker mode, I have not manipulated the picture settings in any way to make one TV look better than the other. 100, 150, off, dynamic tone mapping on on both, peak brightness engaged on both, Motion eye care off on both. Color is the same on both. White balance is 150 for both. Clarity is zero for both. All these other ad advanced picture settings are off. Real cinema is on to remove judder. True motion is off on both. And if you go over to general and you look at AI service, you'll see that AI picture pro and all these other tabs are off except for AI sound pro. Now what we're going to do is we're going to watch this demo real time in HDR running the YouTube app directly through both TVs, okay? Now I will pause it at times to add in a little bit of commentary to give you an idea of what I'm seeing and how I'm feeling, okay? So with that said, let's proceed. Right off the bat, pause. Again, you saw the picture settings, not a single setting is different on either TV. They are 100% identical, okay? Right off the bat, you can see that the C2 has much more clarity, much more definition. In the background right here where the trees are, you have better sense of where those trees are compared to the C1. They have better separation from one another, whereas the C1, the background tends to blend together a little bit. The ferns right here have better uh, highlights on them and pop a little bit more. It just, overall, the screen has more clarity, more definition, and the C1 just seems to be, it just seems to be a little bit kind of muddled on the whole, all right? Again, you can see the difference here. It's just a cleaner, let's get rid of this pointer if we can. It's just a cleaner image on the C2, especially when you get into these shadow details. Again, look at the ferns in the background. The highlights here, maybe a little bit brighter on the C2. Yeah, I would say for sure. 
but not a substantial difference. But look at the detail on the log. It's better on the C2. It's just clearer, it's sharper. And of course, you have to keep in mind that the, the C2 here is 42 inches. The C1 is 48, so the C2 does have slightly better pixel density. But I just, I just can't help but feel and see that the shadow detail and the definition is just better on the C2. And hopefully this comes through on my camera. Don't get me wrong, the C1 looks great as well. It's just not quite on the same level as the C2. Just look at the C2 on the right. Your eyes immediately gravitate to it over the C1. There's just so much more separation in the lines when you get into the dark areas. There's this greater definition of anything that you're seeing on the screen compared to the C1 when you get to those near black details. So anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this relatively quick comparison. I just wanted to make one more side-by-side -side comparison between the C1 and the C2, really showing that for 2022, while yes, some improvements for the C2 over the C1 are iterative, are minor, are hardly noticeable, other improvements like shadow detail, like near black performance, that, in my estimation, ensure, you know, if you must take my opinion with a grain of salt, that's fine. Whatever. There are plenty of other YouTubers you can go for confirmation on this. But for 2022, near black performance, shadow detail performance has been, in my estimation, considerably improved over the C1. So hopefully this video has been informative. If it has, please leave a like. Please subscribe to the channel if you can, and I will see you guys soon with some more LG OLED content. Later, guys.